Hey, it's Joseph here. Today we are looking inside of this brown box to find out what it is. I guess you saw the content in the title, but we're gonna open it up. So in there, we've got this MX Master 3S. So this is basically the, the successor of this mouse that I use all the time, which is MX Master 3. So it is a remaster version of MX Master 3. So let's check out the box itself, MX Master 3S, and they always put S after the number if it has been improved. So they had put S after 2 as well as 3 now, and it has a max speed ultra fast scrolling, which is what we had in the existing MX Master 3. Going around the side, here it says it offers USB-C quick charging. Quick charging in one minute for three hours of use. Full charge lasts up to 70 days. And then here's a mouse itself and then the Logi Bolt as well as the cable and the manual. So it is slightly different since this one contains Logi Bolt, whereas the previous one contained the unifying dongle, which is a difference that I had explained on my previous keyboard review video, the MX Keys Mechanical. Basically, the unifying dongles no longer work with these current devices or the new devices that is equipped with Logi Bolt. And the previous devices don't really work with the Logi Bolt dongle. They all kind of still work with the Bluetooth connection, so you are still likely to be able to connect to them. However, if you want to stick to using the dongles, then you're going to have to use the unifying dongle for all the previous devices, and then the newer devices will have to stick to the Logic Bolt dongle. But again, as I have mentioned, it is capable of working through Bluetooth, but as well as the Logic Bolt USB receiver, which is included in this box. And going to the other side, nothing really. And then here is the back where it states all the features. Up here, it says it works with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Chrome OS, iPad OS, Android, basically with all the operating system. This specific one was upgraded to have the quiet click feature as well as track and glass and now it is upgraded to the 8k dpi sensor where it used to be 4k and max speed scroll wheel is still the same it is something that i really like and comfort and support perfect shape ideally placed thumb controls unfortunately it is comfort for right-handed people only or people who use their mouse on the right hand because the contour is not shaped for the left hand use. Speed up your workflow, app specific profiles, countless customization using the Logi Options Plus, which is a software that Logitech provides. Precise and ultra fast on any surface, again on glass, as well as 8000 DPI sensor. So with that, let's go ahead and unbox this. Very nicely presented. So here is the mouse itself and then the dongle, the Logi Bolt dongle. And then here's a little box for containing the cable as well as the manual. So the cable is nothing new, just has the type A on one end and type C for charging. And here is how the Logi Bolt dongle looks like in comparison to the old unifying dongle, which will no longer work with this mouse. However, I did want to mention, I guess, to compare, this is an existing black one and I guess I got a graphite version. And MX Master 3 was a black color, but this time it comes in graphite version as well as a white version. So in this case, you're kind of seeing the difference between the black and the graphite. It may not be as clear on the camera, but it is quite different in your eyes. So yeah, there is that. Because I have been using this mouse all the time, you're gonna see all the marks on it. I don't know how much of it is being picked up on the camera, but this one will work with the unifying dongle only, and this one will 
work with the Logibolt dongle only. So if you're moving on to the Logibolt as your overall setup, because you could connect multiple devices onto a single dongle. And in my case, I have my keyboard that also works with Logibolt. In fact, I have one of the dongle already connected to my computer. Therefore, it's an easy transition since I can just connect this mouse to the Logibolt dongle that's already been connected. By the way, if you haven't seen the video where I showcase and introduce the MX mechanical keyboard and all the thoughts behind choosing this specific keyboard, check that video out. I'll leave the link in the description. And in terms of the feel of the mouse, it is contoured exactly the same as far as I can feel it. And one thing I did want to point out is the fact that my MX Master 3 started showing the sort of wears on the finish itself. And because I kind of sweat on my hands, they do become a little bit stickier than what it used to be. And especially when they're slightly wetter than it is right now. So right now I can use it. However, for some people who are sensitive to kind of stickiness of the rubber, then it may be a problem. For me, whilst I have complained, it is something that I can live with it. So I wish they would do just plain simple plastic over this rubbery material that wears out. However, it seems to be exactly the same on MX Master 3S. It does feel definitely fresh and it's not sticky. However, how will it age in comparison to this one? I don't know yet. So the time will tell and I'll report as I use this device longer period of time. I should say the weight is about the same. For some of you who prefers lighter Mouse, MX Master 3 or 3S is definitely not your choice because it is sort of a heavier mouse. If you prefer something very light, I also had reviewed Logitech G Pro Super Light. So this is basically the lightest mouse that I was able to find and it is great. However, it is very light. If you do a lot of gaming, this mouse may fit you because this is aimed at more of a gamers who needs a lot of fast movement and accurate movement. However, if you just prefer a very light mouse, this may be your alternative solution. Transitioning from this mouse to this mouse, you are going to notice a huge difference. But I tend to use MX Master 3 just fine, so I expect MX Master 3S to be just fine as well. And currently, it feels slightly different because I've got a paper underneath. So let's go ahead and peel this. So basically the bottom of the mouse looking exactly the same. One thing I do want to point out is the fact that I have this little tiny magnetic dongle here for USB charging. So I have this cable here that I use. I kind of showed it on my previous videos, but I will be able to connect easily like that by just bringing up close to it because it is magnetic. So I will definitely put that on here so that I can easily charge as well. Actually, let me do that. And I'll be sure to leave the link in the description. There you go, easily plugged in there. And then now I can charge this mouse quite easily. Well, let's go ahead and turn it on. My computer just prompted me to connect via Bluetooth. I declined it because I don't wanna connect via Bluetooth. There are some latency involved in Bluetooth connection. It tends to be not as solid as using a dongle. So I'll opt in for using a dongle. And you can pair multiple devices onto a single dongle that are existing on your machine and in my case, Case, I already have one so I'm gonna attempt to connect it you just have to use the Logi options plus okay so over here is Logi options plus and currently it is showing my MX master 3 and you can see that it has a unifying dongle icon right there whereas this one is a full layout of MX keys mechanical and it has a Logi bolt logo on it because it is connected via bolt to receiver so in my case I'm gonna go to add device and I'm gonna click on this one to connect more things via Logi bolt receiver and then it says MX master 3s already so connect follow the instructions and click buttons on your mouse to verify this device your MX Master 3S device is connected and ready to be set up. Set up device. Let's go through 
the setup process because I wanted to kind of show you the functions and features. Extend sensor range to 8K DPI. I'm actually fine with exactly how it is. However, you can increase it if you would like to. And it's great for high resolution monitors. So that's something you can definitely do. So here I do want to increase my pointer speed to let's say 2000. I think that feels comfortable. So next, and you got scroll wheel and mode shift. With the scroll wheel, you can silently shift up and down. There is sort of the magnetic shift that is going on. You can certainly push for high speed. If you push it really far, then it is going to spin infinitely kind of loose and very fast. Whereas if you do it slow, then you're gonna have that ratchet effect with a magnet, which is exactly the same how it used to be on MX Master 3. And you can use a mode shift to toggle that on and off. However, I kind of like it ratchet most of the time. So I'm just gonna keep the mode at that. And then the horizontal scroll is available with a side scroll there. You can zoom in and out or volume control, navigate between tabs, keyboard shortcuts and such. But I'm gonna use just a horizontal scroll. And then there's gonna be forward and a back button. In this case, the back button, you can do different functions as well. My back button is completely fine as well as for the forward button. And then you can switch to different devices up to three different devices by using the button that is underneath. And then also there is a hidden button on your thumb which has the gesture control. And in my case, I usually set it up as a media control. So basically change this to media so that I press it once and then it stops the music or plays the music. And then if I hold that down and then move my mouse up, then it is going to increase the volume and down for decreasing and then to the right for the next song and then left for the previous song, which works quite well. So I'm gonna set it up that way. And then the next is the setup app specific customizations. I don't think I wanna do that just yet. So I'm just gonna skip this part. Again, going back to the gesture control over here, instead of virtual desktops, I'm gonna change to media controls and that's what I prefer. So yeah, it is connected already. It's got 50% of battery. I can just connect it up to have it charging. Point and scroll, you can change a few things on the scroll wheel. You can have the inverted direction or smooth scrolling turned on and off, smart shift. I actually like it as a ratchet mode, so I'm gonna turn it off and then have it as a ratchet. But I did actually notice that the scroll wheel is actually not as silent, or I guess it is as loud as it was. Closer to the microphone. And in terms of the noise level, MX Master 3 and then MX Master 3S is exactly the same on the scroll wheel clicking or middle mouse button clicking. But I do use this quite a lot whenever I do 3D modelings and such. All of those softwares require the middle mouse button click which is clicking on the scroll wheel. So yeah, whilst the other clicks are quite silent, yet that is still going to be somewhat clicky if you will. And then pointer speed is currently at 2000 I think that feels good easy switch could be turned on if you're using different type of machines on the same setup I tend to use that for laptop connections and you can use the flow so that you move your mouse and keyboard space onto the different machine without actually having to press any buttons so this becomes really handy if you have multiple devices and I used to have a laptop working here all the time and going on to that you just scroll onto a certain edge of the monitor and you take your mouse and keyboard with you and that becomes really convenient way to transition from desktop to the laptop and perhaps another device and just maintain one same peripheral connected to all and you do have additional settings down here you can check for updates and also some of functions like swap left and right buttons but something that i did notice whilst just kind of fiddling with this is a fact that it is very silent meaning the clicks are very silent so here's a difference So 
So if you're bothered by the clicky sound of MX Master 3, your MX Master 3S is going to be your choice. Especially in a quiet office environment, a lot of clicking sound may be bothersome for perhaps not yourself, but the people around you. Yeah, if you're a fast clicker or if you just click a lot, then yeah, that may be a problem. Therefore, you might want to move on to more silent mouse, which is MX Master 3, as well as the higher DPI. Therefore, if you're needing to have higher DPI for larger resolution monitors, then you can certainly use this one. And I think the main selling point would actually be the fact that it uses the Logi Bolt, which is a new dongle for all the Logitech devices. It's kind of difficult because it is not backwards compatible but because I moved up my keyboard to a newer device as well that uses the Logibolt I think it makes sense for me to move on to this eventually and which I did and for those of you who play games or just rather have a mouse with the satisfactory clicks then this may deter your decision however MX Master 3 or MX series is really meant for productivity type of things so I I guess it's not meant for the gamers who kind of shoot for the maximum satisfactory feelings on their keys. So I do get the reasoning for it and I prefer more silent sound because I don't really need very clicky clicks on my mouse. So I'd rather go for that but then I would rather have a bit less clicky sound on the middle mouse button if I was going down that route. So yeah that was just checking out all the differences and the improvements coming up from MX Master 3 onto MX Master 3S. I am actually going to enjoy the fact that every device that I have is now connected via Logi Bolt. And overall, I really like the look of my setup now. It is a graphite look overall. If you also like this content, then please like this video and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.